Hey guys, it's me, Sarin, back with another video. We are on our 13th straight day of hidden figures, and today's hidden figure is one that I've actually um, been reading a lot about now that the Winter Olympics are underway because she is an Olympian. Carissa Maria Shields, born March 17th, 1995, is an American professional boxer. She has held the unified WBC and IBF female super middleweight titles since 2017, and the Women's Boxing Archive Network Super Middleweight title since January 2018. As an amateur, she won a gold medal in the Women's Middleweight Division at the 2012 and 2016 Olympics, making her the first American boxer, female or male, to win consecutive Olympic medals. Shields was the youngest boxer at the February 2012 U.S. Olympic Trials, winning the event in the middleweight division. In May, she qualified for the 2012 Olympics, the first year in which women's boxing was an Olympic event, and went on to become the first American woman to win an Olympic gold medal in boxing at the age of 17. 17! Shields was born and raised in Flint, Michigan, where she was a high school junior in May 2012. She was introduced to boxing by her father, Bo Shields, who had boxed in underground leagues. Bo was in prison when Shields was two years old and released when she was nine. And after his release, he talked to her about boxer Layla Ali, piquing her interest in the sport. Although Bo nevertheless believed that boxing was a man's sport and refused to allow Shields to pursue it until she was 11. At that time, she began boxing at Burston Field House in Flint, where she met her coach and trainer, Jason Crutchfield. Shields credits her grandmother with encouraging her not to accept restrictions based on her gender. After winning two Junior Olympic Championships, Shields competed in her first Open Division Tournament, the National Police Athletic League Championships 2011. She won the middleweight title and was named top overall fighter, as well as qualifying for the U.S. Olympic Trials. After winning two Junior Olympic Championships, Shields competed in her first Open Division Tournament, the National Police Athletic League Championships 2011. She won the middleweight title and was named top overall fighter as well as qualifying for the U.S. Olympic Trials. At the trials, she defeated the reigning national champion and the 2010 world champion to win the middleweight class. In April 2011, she won her weight class at the Women's Elite Continental Championships in Cornwall, Ontario, against three-time defending world champion Mary Spencer of Canada. She held an undefeated record of 25 wins and zero losses at that point. Following Shields' victory at the U.S. Olympic Trials, it was initially reported that she would need only a top eight finish at the 2012 AIBA Women's World Boxing Championships in China in order to qualify for the 2012 Olympics. On May 10th, the day after the contest began, but before Shields' first bout, a change to the rules was announced that meant Shields would need to place in the top two from the American Boxing Confederation region of AIBA. Shields won her first round, but suffered an upset loss in the second, bringing her record to 26-1. Her chances for qualification thus depended on the performance of another boxer. After that boxer advanced to the middleweight finals, it was announced that Shields had earned an Olympic berth. She won a gold medal in the end after beating Russian boxer Nadezda Torlopova 19-12. In 2014, Shields won the World Championships, and the following year, she became the first American to win titles in women's boxing at the Olympics and Pan American Games. Shields won gold at the 2016 AMBC Olympic Qualifying Tournament in Argentina, and later that year, she won the gold at the 2016 Rio Summer Olympics, becoming the only American gold medalist in the team and awarded the inaugural women's division of the Val Barker Trophy at the competition. Her amateur boxing record was 77 wins and one loss. In November 2016, Shields officially went pro. She is the subject of the 2015 documentary, T-Rex, Her Fight for Gold, and in 2016, Universal Pictures acquired the rights to produce a film about her life story. Barry Jenkins has signed on as the screenwriter, Barry Jenkins of, of course, Moonlight. So there's going to be tons of really interesting links in the description box on Clarissa Shields. Um, since she's a more contemporary hidden figure, I strongly encourage everyone to read the links in the description box and look her up if you find her interesting. Um, so the quote that I'm going to read you guys 
is actually an excerpt from a New York Times article that, again, will be in the description box, uh, that's talking about how women's boxing is not really taken seriously and how women's boxers are consistently underrated, um, especially Clarissa Shields because of her race, you know, her age, she's very young, obviously her gender, even though she is an Olympian, you know, she is a two-time, you know, gold Olympian, the only, you know, boxer, woman, or man to do that, you know, so... Uh, she has returned home after four decisive victories, having won the first American gold medal in women's boxing. She's 17. The reps from Team USA are discussing her sponsorship opportunities. Names like Ryan Lochte and Gabby Douglas are tossed out as the sort of Olympians to whom sponsors flock. Team USA's public relations consultant, a woman named Julie Goldsticker, goes into an incomprehensible description of why sponsors are attracted to certain people. Then she looks at Shields and says, I would love for you to stop saying that you like beating people up and making them cry. Shields' brow creases. She looks completely befuddled. I box, she says. People say the way I talk about boxing is too mean and too tough, but I do enjoy hitting people or I wouldn't be a boxer. I'm not going to pretend that that isn't a part of it or a part of me. The paradox is clear. Shields cannot visibly enjoy fighting to succeed financially as a boxer. If she were a man, that bloodlust, that taste for combat would be courted. It would be used as a selling point to hype fights as it always has. But for a woman, that is unfathomable. I thought that was a really, really interesting quote, really pertinent, really kind of gets straight to the point of how our gender dynamics are at play. And then again, compounded by race and compounded by her age and compounded by so many other things. So I thought that was really interesting. Uh, like I said, there's going to be tons of really cool links in the description box. So please feel free to check those out. We are almost halfway through the month. Tomorrow marks the official halfway point of the month and of Hidden Figures. Thank you so much for everybody that's been watching and commenting and making suggestions. I really, really appreciate it. Um, food for thought as always. See you guys next time. Clarissa Shields, a hidden figure. Peace.